Thoughts Imagine trying to finish something for years. Here's the top 10 movies that took forever to make. Apocalypse Now, 1979. Years, 5. To give you a sense of how difficult this film's protracted shoot was, there's an entire documentary called Hearts of Darkness, a filmmaker's apocalypse, which documents the extremes to which Francis Ford Coppola and his crew went in order to get it made. Of course, despite being notoriously long, Stanley Kubrick's eyes wide shut presently holds the Guinness World Record for the longest continuous shooting time at 46 weeks. Despite the fact that their sets were ruined by a storm, Martin Sheen suffered a heart attack, and Marlon Brando arrived overweight. This Vietnam War drama had to go through production against all odds. Despite a slew of obstacles that threatened to bring the film to a halt, Apocalypse Now was released. Sleeping Beauty, 1959. Years, 8. Early script development on this Walt Disney classic began in 1951, and it went through several rewrites before finally hitting theaters in 1959, for years after its original release date. But it was the film's sophisticated animation process that took eight years to complete. Following the huge success of Cinderella, Walt Disney wanted his new project's characters to appear as real as possible, close to flesh and blood. To do so, an entire version of the film was recorded with real actors in costume for the animators to model their sketches on, effectively doubling the production time. The Simpsons Movie, 2007 Years, 9 Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons, had planned to make a film adaptation of the hit comedy when the show ended. The crew also attempted to make a movie out of the season 4 episode Camp Krusty. However, Fox finally approved the idea in 1997, and the majority of the voice actors granted their approval in 2001. The screenplay went through over 100 drafts after the writers spent six months settling on a plot, even considering a musical at one point. Despite the delays, the resultant animated comedy was a box office hit featuring nearly all of the show's roughly 320 characters, as well as the introduction of fan-favorite Spider-Pig. Avatar, 2009 Years, 10 Given that this science fiction epic went on to become the highest-grossing picture of all time, it's safe to conclude that the 10-year production time was well worth it. Director James Cameron collaborated with world-class graphic designers to develop his extraterrestrial species, the Navi, following his success with Titanic. He spent the following years building new 3D camera and CGI technology to appropriately bring the mythical world Pandora to life, after realizing how advanced his vision was, for his intended 1997 production start date. After more than $230 million and a slew of technical firsts, Avatar shattered records and forever altered the landscape of filmmaking. Roar, 1981. Years, 11. This choice used an assortment of untrained animals, including elephants, tigers, and a pride of lions that director Noel Marshall and his wife. Hitchcock superstar Tippi Hedren had adopted to live with on their Californian property. The filming began in 1974, but was cut short when a flood damaged the finished product and claimed the lives of some of the feline actors. Furthermore, the animals used in the film wounded 70 members of the cast and crew. The ultimate budget was $17 million. However the picture only lasted a week in theaters and only made $2 million. Mad Max. Fury Road. 2015. Years. 
15. George Miller, the creator of the original Mad Max series, spent years trying to reclaim the franchise's rights. He intended to start filming the action movie in 2001, but the 9-11 events caused the Australian dollar to plummet in value against the US dollar, and the project was shelved. After years of development hell, during which Heath Ledger was even almost considered for the role of Max, principal photography finally began in the summer of 2012, with the frenetic automobile chase picture hitting theaters in 2015. Unlike most action films, Fury Road was nominated for 10 Academy Awards and won six of them. Boyhood. 2014. Years. 12. Richard Linklater's coming-of-age drama took 12 years to shoot and is perhaps the most famous film whose production relied on the passage of time. IFC Films gave Linklater a $200,000 budget, and each year from 2002 through 2013, a young Ella Coltrane met with Linklater and teamed to capture a time-lapse of his youth, his connection with mother Patricia Arquette, and father Ethan Hawke, capturing the spirit of growing up. From the background events, such as President Barack Obama's election, to the music, which chronicles the growth of radio pop, this cinematic milestone is genuinely a time capsule that can only exist because it took so long to make. The Man Who Killed Don Quixote 2017 Years 18 this selection is slated for release in 2017, but with an 18-year development history, it's difficult to predict whether or not this loose version of Don Quixote will ever see the light of day. The film is directed by Terry Gilliam, who has attempted to create the picture eight times over the last two decades. It is about an advertising executive who jumps back and forth between 21st century London and 17th century La Mancha. Its most recent adaptation stars Adam Driver and Olga Kurilenko, and sees Driver meet paths with Michael Palin's eponymous hero. Issues like water destroying equipment, actor Gene Rockefeller leaving the production due to sickness, and long term funding problems have put his big project in production hell, so it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. Typhland, 1954. Years. 20. World War II stood in the way of this picture because its director, Lenny Riefenstahl, had to put the project on hold to concentrate on Nazi propaganda films. In fact, you may be familiar with her work from Hitler's Nuremberg Rally documentary, Triumph of the Will. Due to wartime destruction, Riefenstahl had to transfer to Spain and the Czech Republic on multiple occasions to complete her work. Because she couldn't find an actress she liked, Riefenstahl put herself in the lead role, which she later regretted. She was 40 at the time, and her lover was 23-year-old Franz Eichberger. Overall, the romance film took two decades to get it to the big screen, a record that it still holds. The Thief and the Cobbler, 1993, years, 28. Although there have been several versions of this film released, we'll go with the 1993 cut, also known as The Princess and the Cobbler. This animated fantasy took a lifetime of work to reach audiences, as animator Richard Williams took on outside jobs to raise money for his dream project, which began in 1964. After a slew of story revisions and funding setbacks, it wasn't until the 1980s that Williams' work caught the attention of Steven Spielberg, who hired him to direct the Academy Award winning, who framed Roger Rabbit. While this helped him land a deal with Warner Brothers, a rough cut of the film was a flop, prompting the producers to pull out. Which of these movies is your favorite? Please tell us in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates about your favorite celebrities.